morning everyone this is ENT student today I am going to say about the ENT competency number 3.3 observe and describe the indications for and steps involved in the performance of rigid or flexible laryngoscopy direct laryngoscopy it is direct visualization of larynx and hypopharynx the scope is the scope is either rigid or flexible flexible scopes shows throat better and are more comfortable for patient rigid scopes are often used in surgery this is a picture showing laryngoscopy Indications. Indications can be diagnostic or therapeutic. Diagnostic indications include when direct laryngoscopy is not possible as in infants and young children and the symptomatology points to larynx and hypopharynx such as hoarseness, dyspnea, strider, dysphagia. When indirect laryngoscopy has not been successful, example due to excessive gag reflex or overhanging epiglottis, obscuring a part or complete view of larynx to examine hidden areas of hypopharynx, base of tongue, vallecule and lower part of piriform fossa, larynx, infrahyoid, epiglottis, anterior commissure, ventricles and subglottis region and to find the extent of growth and take a biopsy. Therapeutic indications include removal of benign lesions of larynx such as papilloma, fibroma, vocal nodule, polyp or cyst, removal of foreign bodies from larynx and hypopharynx, dilatation of laryngeal strictures. Contraindications Diseases or injuries of cervical spine, moderate or marked respiratory obstruction unless the airway has been provided by uh, tracheostomy, recent coronary occlusional cardiac decompensation, anesthesia use. General anesthesia is preferred though this procedure can be performed under local anesthesia. Infants, young and young children, no anesthesia may be required if procedure is for diagnostic purpose. Position. Patient lies supine head is elevated by 10 to 15 centimeters by placing a pillow under occiput or by raising head flap of the operation table. Neck is flexed on thorax and the head extended on Atlanta hospital joint. This is the barking dog position. Procedure. A piece of gauze is placed on the upper teeth to protect them against trauma. Laryngoscope is lubricated with little autoclaved liquid paraffin or jelly. Uh, Laryngoscope is held by the handle in the left hand. Right hand is used to retract the lips and guide the laryngoscope and to handle suction and instruments. Laryngoscope is introduced by one side of the tongue which is pushed to the opposite tail till posterior third of the tongue is reached. It is then moved to the midline and lifted forward to bring epiglottis in view. Laryngoscope is now advanced behind the epiglottis and little forward without elevating, without levering it on the upper teeth or jaw. If anterior commissure laryngoscope is being used, it tips uh, can be advanced further between the ventricular bands to examine ventricles and anterior commissure. It can be passed between vocal cords to examine the subglottic region. Following structures are examined serially base of tongue, right and left valliculae, epiglottis includes its ribs, lingula, laryngeal surfaces, right and left piriform sinuses, array epiglottic folds, arytenoids, post recoil region, both false cords, anterior and posterior commissure, right and left ventricles, right and left vocal cords and subglottic area. Mobility of vocal cords should be observed. A right angle telescope can be used to see the under surface of vocal cords in the walls of the subglottis. After the procedure is completed, laryngoscope is withdrawn and the lips and teeth are examined for any injury. This is a direct laryngoscopy. This gives the good view of inferior interior of the larynx. Post-operative care. Patient is kept in coma position to prevent aspiration of blood or secretions. Patient's respiration should be watched for any, for any laryngeal spasm or sinusis. Trauma to larynx, especially if repeated attempts at laryngoscopy have been made. It may lead to laryngeal edema and respiratory distress. Bleeding may occur from the operative site. Patient may split blood. Care should be taken to prevent aspiration. Complications. Injury to lips and tongues if they are nipped between the teeth and laryngoscope. Injury to tooth, this they may dislodge and fall into larynx, pharynx, bleeding laryngeal edema. Thank you.